Right, we're on. Today we're talking centeredness of strike. Ideally here, not here, not here. Sounds very easy. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification and also the thumbs up. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So centeredness of strike, got a little drill for you to do today, which will improve hand-eye coordination, the sensation of hitting the middle of the golf club and what it feels like not to hit the middle of the golf club. I've all been there. So for this drill, you're going to need a wedge, something with lots of loft, and some golf balls. Now, hand-eye coordination, we, we did this as kids. I mean, everyone that grew up through golf, I mean, I know, understand a lot of people got to later in the game or got to the game later in life, but most junior golfers, certainly when I was young, it was all about bouncing the golf ball on the club face. Now, if you can start to master that, you will really start to feel where the sweet spot of the golf club is. Now, if you can get the golf ball if you can bounce it on the club, you'll understand what it's like when it catches the middle of the club face. We're going to bounce this today, then just do a 10 second drill, a really quick drill to feel what it's like when we miss the middle of the club face. So if you struggle to bounce the ball on the club face, just grip further down the club. It doesn't matter really how you hold this, but you'll, you'll be able to feel, try and feel the ball bouncing off the face. And you can feel if you catch it from the toe or the heel, this is the toe, this is the middle, this is the heel. We're going to call the middle of the club the sweet spot. It's actually a little bit more towards the heel, but for argument's sake, we'll just call it the middle of the club face as the sweet spot. Toe, heel. If you grab the golf club closer to the club head, you've got more control. Hence the reason when you chip, if you grip down, you get more control. Good. And just bounce it. Bounce it off the toe. You can feel the club wobble. If I bounce off the toe, I can feel a bit of wobble of the club head. If I catch the heel, Again, I can feel it wobble. I can feel it when I catch the toe or the heel, I can feel the golf club rotate around the sweet spot, around the center of gravity, around the shaft, sorry. If I catch the middle, that rotation has gone. If I catch the middle, any rotation has gone. So more experienced golfers or golfers with a misspent youth, <laughs> you'll be able to feel straight away but out the toe, that's out the toe, I can feel the vibration under the grip. So I'm right out the toe, you can hear it. Out the heel, again, harder to control, but I can feel the vibration and I can feel the club wanting to swivel around its axis. If I catch out the middle, so if I'm, now there's, there you go. So now there's no, little effort getting put in. The ball bounces higher and there's no rotation. So the ball's bouncing higher, you see the height of that, if I go off the toe, see how I lose it, completely lose it. So at the middle of the club face is obviously the most beneficial place for us to hit the golf ball. I know what you're thinking, that's all very well Steve, but how do we train ourselves to be able to do that? Well we train ourselves with very short motion, so we'll start with a shorter motion and develop it as we go. But we have to be able to hit out the toe. If we can hit out the toe, we can hit out the middle. Pretty simple. Take three golf balls and hit them all out the toe. But we're only going to hit them five yards, 10 yards. So I want you to address with the golf ball at the toe and just a little shot, narrow stance, grip down the club so there's a little bit more control so you can definitely hit it from the toe or give you the best chance to hit it from the toe. And just a little short motion, back and through, right off the toe, there we are. I mean, I can't get close to the toe. I could feel a wobble through impact. I could feel, I could definitely feel strike, strikes or clunk. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's not good. So they've landed in the snow just outside the bay there. I mean, they've gone, I mean, you're lucky if they've gone 10 yards. Now I want to do the same again, but I want to feel the middle of the golf club. So I'm creating the same motion. Same action, I've now addressed the middle of the club. Same, same length of swing. Ball flew higher and it's landed where those ones have finished, so a little bit more distance, so the ball definitely flew higher. Yep, oh, it's, it's, so I've now got distance on it. Same length of swing. And you can feel there's no rotation. There's absolutely no rotation. Do three more out the toe. 
Now this is basic motion. I mean, it's backing in and down and out and it's simple off the toe. Okay, clunk again. Off the toe. Clunk again. <laughs> I can really feel a difference. You can hear. And then we go back to the centre. So back to the middle, same length of swing. And the ball's up and away. So the sensation of the feedback from that's instant. You can feel straight away. You hit three balls off the toe. You think they're okay. You think, well, that's achievable. That's all right. Managed to strike it exactly where I wanted to, out the wrong part of the golf club. Ball went up. It went to wherever I wanted it to go because I was only trying to hit it 10 yards. Then you do it out the middle of the golf club. The sensation is completely different, but it's achievable because the length of swing, we're more compact, we're not taking a full swing, we're not trying to swing over 100 miles an hour, we're able to get centre of club to strike centre of golf ball. So two centres of gravity are hitting each other, ball goes straight, ball goes in the air, feels great. And it only felt great because there was no twisting of the shaft. Let's increase the range of motion. Now for, I would suggest doing this with five balls each maybe, but I'm just going to do it with two just for the speed of this video. I'm going to hit two balls out the toe. This time I'm going to take the club up until I get my hands to hip height. Out the toe. See if I can control this. <laughs> it just feels absolutely horrible. So now I'm feeling more twist because I've added a little bit of velocity and length of swing. Did you hear that? It sounded lovely, didn't it? No. So again, training ourselves, same length of same range of motion, now in the middle of the golf club, try my best possible focus I can to keep things nice and compact and simple to hit the middle of that club face. So same length of swing, up and away. I mean, chalk and cheese, absolutely. Same again. So I would say I've hit them both absolutely pure out the middle of the club face. Again, I mean, I, I've golfed for, for many years and I, I, can, I can hit the middle of the club face. I'm, I'm pretty close to it pretty most of the time. Not everyone is, and I get that. So how do we try and achieve this? Well, even just this little drill to understand that reducing length of swing, keeping things more compact, understanding the feelings of where you hit the face, but keeping the swing more compact and shorter, there's more chance of hitting the club face in the middle. Now, if I take a long swing, really long swing and catch out the toe, Full swing, catch out the toe, or take a three-quarter or half swing even and catch out the middle, I'm going to lose no distance from the one with the full swing. Because the two centres of gravity have hit together correctly to get most efficiency out of the shot we're playing. So a full swing off the toe. You're lucky, if, I mean, you're lucky if that's gone 100 yards. Compared to half swing out the middle, much more efficient. So from this drill, you take the sensation of what it feels like to miss the middle of the golf club. That's important, understanding that. So when you're on the golf course and your pals say to you, good shot, because the outcome's been okay, you know, you're thinking, never felt right. I felt the twist. I felt the center of, of rotation. I felt, felt it just never felt right. I never caught that sweet spot. I never got those two center of gravities lined up. And you know that, you know that now because you understand what it feels like not to get that not to have that sensation, not to hit that sweet spot. So reducing length of swing, keeping things tighter, there's more chance of catching the middle of the golf club. You look at John Ram, John Ram swings it, I mean, he hits it over 300 yards. And you're lucky if it's a three quarter swing. It's just over half. Tony Finau, exactly the same. McElroy to point, Tommy Fleetwood, the list goes on. Shorter swing, more chance of hitting the middle of the golf club. Guys, I mean, apart from Bryson DeChambeau, you look at length of golf shaft. I have to stand up because my knee's sore. <laughs> length of Bryson DeChambeau's golf shaft. I mean, he's taking that to the extreme, but the average length of shaft on tour is 44 inches. Now, they sell them on the rack at 45 to 45 and a half. So these guys have got a shorter length of shaft than the driver, which will reduce club head speed, so you sh sh should hit it shorter. Did I just swear there? You should hit it shorter. However, they hit the middle of the golf club more. So by hitting the middle of the sweet spot more, they're going to gain more distance. So these guys have reduced or taken a power source out, as in length of shaft, to ensure they hit the middle of the club face. So why don't we, as golfers, as recreational golfers, if you like, why don't we go on the golf course and hit three quarter shots or half shots to make sure we hit the middle of the golf club to get the most out of that swing on that day? Don't know. 
Why don't we? Look, it's covered in snow. It's beautiful, though. <laughs> Guys, thanks very much. Please you hit that subscribe button. That would be much appreciated. Also, the bell notification and the thumbs up. But subscribe, 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 subscribe. See you next time. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.